All right, so for this video, I'm gonna solve the equation three to the power of x to the power of two over nine to the power of x is equal to 81. So to solve this, I want all my terms in the same base. And in this case, this would be a base of three because all of these are powers of three. So we don't need to change three to the power of x squared because this is already a base of three. But nine, I'm gonna change to three squared. So I get three squared to the power of x. And 81, I'm gonna change to three to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So I get three to the power of x squared over three to the power of two x is equal to three to the power of four. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So I get three to the power of x squared minus two x is equal to three to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means m is equal to n. So this means x squared minus two x is equal to four. Now, if I subtract both sides by four, I get x squared minus two x minus four is equal to zero. Now to solve this, I'm gonna use a quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 4. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 all over 2 times 1. Now from here, I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 16 over 2. So I'm going to rewrite that over here. x is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. Now the square root of 20 is the same thing as the square root of 5 times 4, which is equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of 4, which is equal to 2 root 5. So I get x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2, meaning x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So these are my two solutions to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and also share this video to your friends or family because that would support a lot. And if you wanna watch more videos like these, check out my channel because I have a bunch of challenge problems such as these ones. Thank you.